amazing job keeping that spinner at back. It was really well done. Three, two, one, then game. And we're off, and that was the grabber. Brilliant moving already. And up against the corner, throws into the air. And they are flying all over the spinner, doing damage already. Corner, there's no mercy. Can Africa grab your stage? You cry about it. Oh, no, they, oh, they have. They pulled them apart, so cry about it. Now, able to move loose and pieces and triple slip. Oh, no, and they're stuck. Can they rewrite themselves? They are struggling, desperately trying to. <laughs> and M Boss now making their way back to cry about it. They cannot escape this punishment. Africa Grabber still moving, but cannot self right Africa Grabber out of the fight. And Cry About It, I think, has been immobilised as well. End boss, that was brutal. The count is continuing. Woohoo! Doing a lovely little gyro dance at the end there. That's what we call it, isn't it? As I said, the, session. the, the spinners terrify me and I think they terrify everyone else as well. Yeah. So, I'm seeing an instant replay, that's very cool. That is a fun. And we're ready for the next fight. So the Honey Badger, Tanamono, and Night Fury. Two. One. And then here. So Night Fury moving into the middle and getting caught already being pushed up against the side. And they're flipped. But it does the and they can skip the and they are bouncing off the arena wall. David checking the slip for damage. We're all good. We can continue. It's going to be down, though. Or is it? No. No, it's back up. But it takes some time. It takes some time to get spinning. And they're pinned. They're wedged up against the side. Protecting themselves. Can they get the spinner up against the side wall? That will delay the damage that you do. Sparks flying everywhere. No, no, doing everything they can. And that's a massive amount of damage hitting the wall. You can hear the crowd going, ooh, is he? Look for the damage. Night Fury is still moving, or are they? They seem to be struggling. And oh, so close to the no knockout zone. If they fall in behind that triangle, they're out of the fight. I think the Honey Badger has stopped. And the countdown has begun on Honey Badger. So they are out of it. There's a two battle now between Night Fury and Samadone. And it really is back and forth. Night Fury looks a little bit immobilised, not getting around the arena as quickly as they want. And well, they look wedged now is a tug of war between the two. Oh! And the front flipper has been knocked off. Do. Massive amount of damage. But it's not over yet. They're still moving. So I can we get the pit to the Going down. The pit is going down. And the first time we're hearing that siren today properly. It has now enabled, the hole is there for them to fall into. Night Fury Spinner, back up to speed. So, will we see any more damage or will we see a knockout through the pit? Night Fury doing a lovely pirouette. Nine, and Tamanone trying to knock them out, but with time racing down. Five seconds left of this battle, it's going to go to the judges. One, two, three. A really good fight there. Yeah. A tremendous amount of damage. David is going to need the brush to clear the arena for this one. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah. We will definitely see the long stick of doom out. So, Jeb and I am the amateur. You are the expert. What is your views? Well, this stand by. We're ready to go again. Three, two, one, begin. And the boring bot making the first move, going up against Titan, pinning them in the corner and grabbing them. And long last struggling to get into this fight, but they're going to make some moves and we're seeing sparks from the boring bot. Titan desperately trying to get away from that. It's going to be much more difficult now to drive upside down. Left is right, right is left, everything's up. Down. Oh, and some vicious aggression from the boring bot. Not so boring at all, just using their speed to ram them up against the wall. Reportedly 6% less boring than last time. And now a long last is currently trying to get in the way. A brilliant dodge there by Boring Bot Titan making some aggression oh. up into the air. And now we're hearing the grinding of that drum win and the pit button going has been down. The grabber has come down. Can they pin Titan into the pit? They're working together. A long last and Boring Bot working together and all getting close to the edge. Close to the edge oh. in the air. 
That grill had taken a massive amount of damage. I almost came back into the pit box. That front wedge is not looking healthy on Boring Bot right now, hanging off by a couple of screws by the looks of it. And we're struggling. The Titan is struggling to get our drum up and running again, so... It looks like he's thrown a weapon belt there. At long last, is now making their way. They've kind of grabbed, they've managed to wedge Titan underneath their flipper. I'm not sure if that's a strategy they intended, but it's working for them. Yep. There's no spinner to worry about now. It's just a good pushing match, and this could go any way. So they're all staying away from the pit. The pit is down, they're all desperately staying away. But can two bots work together to knock the third one in? We will see, as they're all literally on the other side of the arena, now into the blue corner. It really is a pushing match. Boring bot trying to get their grabber down over Titan. And in the wall, we're getting close. We're getting close to the edge. Seven, six. The countdown has begun. Oh, and Titan's on the edge, just escaping. Anyway, judges decision, the judges do not get a break this round. So for the first time we have a three-way decision for the judges. Yeah. And I'm very excited to see what they think. Jevon, your expert analysis as we look at I the mean, replay. It was a good fight to start with from uh, Boring. Three, two, one, big game. And who is going to get off the blocks is Ascension, but immediately getting attacked by AOB. And they are up against the side of the pit. Can they get out of that? Don't think they can, up against the arena wall. Age slice now slicing into AOB. The timer has begun by the referee for AOB. Oh, Sorry, for yeah, Ascension. Oh, no. That front flipper panel is gone. It's just not there anymore. And Ascension, I believe, has been timed out. So now it's a two fight between Angel Slice and AOB. What an amount of damage has already been done. The pit is enabled. AOB desperately hitting that pit. They want to get away from the run. And they were so close to the out zone, but they managed to flip back in. Absolutely wild physics going on. So AOB sizing up Angel Slice, waiting to make that attack. They know that spin is lethal. They don't want to engage with it if they can. Yes, Trying to get around the back. tank at the back. That's where the compressed air is stored, and that's going to be a worry for them. They don't want to lose that. And if I'm not mistaken, I think A and B was taunting Angel Slice there, tempting them to charge them into the pit. A and B into the pit. Going for Angel Slice. So no need for the judges on this one. It has all been settled in the arena. And my goodness, the crush is going to be busy. Big hit. So, big hit to start with from Drizzle. Good. They're in the other zone. And go Robert, now pushing. Oh, yeah, can we get another? Can we get two in short succession? Throwing itself is Drizzle. Andrew Robert just trying to find an strike shot middle. And you can see that gyro effect coming into play as they start to lift up. I'm getting some. Andrew Robert! Andrew Robert! Andrew Robert! Andrew Can you believe it? Ah, Smithers. It's a big hit, you're going to see the replay. So you heard the arena erupt, that was so exciting. Size got ready for a new one and it's going to be now. Three, two, one, big hit. And Igor immediately oh, going out to the low, and they are up on their side, they cannot get the spinner engaged. And Salamco also getting involved. Both Everyone targets in the spinner, they know what damage can be done. Yeah, and I they, think there might have been a conversation beforehand about uh, where to attack and who to attack. So the strategy appears to be keep Glow up against the pit, uh, the arena walls. Stop them from getting a spinner, but now it's up. Now it's running and they are bouncing oh, up and down. Big bounces. Igor seems to be stuck under the side walls. So, and if I'm right on the rules, there is no releasing. They want to stay stuck. And glow up into the air once again. <laughs> and a dangerous place to be if the slam go. And upside down now. And, and Eagle, 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 Eagle has been gone. eliminated. They are out now. It's just slam go and glow. And glow is making a beautiful mark on the arena. Well, obviously based on the bigger featherweight robots from the same team. Right into the arena wall. That could have been very dangerous there. But 
Slamco now upside down, you can see the ghost is enabled, and the other side of Slamco getting a grilling from. Oh, 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 yeah. Don't hit the pitch, but it's a good plan to hit. So long as you don't fall down it. So if I was Slamco, I would say take a step back and just watch Glow do all of the damage to themselves. Really doing a very good job. What a fun, that was incredible. So an incredible amount of damage done there to Glow, unfortunately. Slam call as well. Absolutely brutal, man. Yeah, so Glow based on a larger robot called Neon is a two to one scale robot. Three, two, one, begin. And here we go, everyone into the middle. No one really picking a target, just waiting to see what happens. And here comes the hammer, going all over the place from attitude there. And you're starting to see the grapple rotating from grapple turnover. It's a nippy little robot as well, moving quite quickly. Trying, trying to get out of the Can they work together to push them into the out zone? They look very good. So grapple turnover and spawn the spinner has been oh, dealt with. One of the quads has fallen off though. He's not taking it. Brilliant judge. Enable. And the pitch button has been enabled. And a wheel has come off there from someone. So that grapple is turnover. He's got three more. He's fine. <laughs> so not only have they lost the pincer, they've now lost a wheel. They're going to be struggling to control that robot. Yeah. Drawing has the advantage, you have to say, but it's not over until one of these bots has ceased. Well, of course, we hit the time limit. Yeah. Cheeky little flip there from Sproy. So keeping the aggression going, Sproy very much being a defender. And now with that one wheel, they have less traction, so you can Sproy and push them towards the pit. They're met getting ever closer, but look at Grapple. Don't know how they've managed it, but they've zigzagged their way to the other side of the arena. This is what we call a crab walk in the game. Uh, he's very much sort of going side to side and making forward motion somehow. Well, Sproy desperately trying to push them towards the pit, and they are getting ever closer, but they've just managed to get away. Over the edge, but didn't go in. So Sproing still desperately trying to get into the correct position. We've seen it before. You can go too fast and push yourself in. Oh yeah. So Sproing doing everything to avoid that. Great driving control. Great patience. You have to say from Sproing. Nine, eight. And the countdown seven, has begun to end this match. So can we five, get a conclusion four, in the next three, five seconds? Two, one. The answer is no. And it goes to the judges. And a very nice control match at the end there. In fact, all the way through, a very nice control match. Some excellent evasive driving from Grapple Turner, just managing to pull themselves away from the pit. One, two, three. And very slow to get started there. Thank you. 
is how Babarov there, the press, are able to grab them, shut them down, and now they're going to start to make their work on the box and almost connected all out! that Croydon has been lied to. I mean, I don't know if anyone's been watching the Winter Olympics, but that reminded me of curling a little there. They collected yeah. both of them and yeah. knocked them into the pit. I think the best advice is run, run. Over in green, the keeper in the blue, and we have under control, starting the red. So Enigma going straight out the boom zoom there, and under control, come on! The damage. We've got a lot of flippers in this battle, so we might see someone into the out zone. But Bootu taking the moment to just assess what's going on. Enigma really tangled in between all of the robots. We shouldn't forget to start the first round of our university in competition, where we've got Bootu from Sheffield, Enigma from Bristol, and the control from Exeter College. So this is going to be a and the pitch button is now enabled, so we're going to start to see someone maybe, and we are, everyone moving over to the button. And these two, my baby, ultimately push the button back to the camera, pushing them over, and on the control is making their way back to the water. Slightly, not going to be able to get back out of there. Enigma trying to get a flip on. Got out of there, they must have been desperately trying everything. You can imagine the fact. And now Boozoom on the offensive, trying to do something with Enigma, but Enigma, such a low front end. Yeah, Boozoom is yeah. really struggling to push them, and they are very close to the pit! Enigma The winner of Peter's robot and also the Dishonored. So you have to say, a very precarious battle. Boozoom doing so, so well close. to escape. Boozoom doing so well. Well done, Mr. Cup. Three, two, one, begin. Here we go then. So, what a massive amount of speed coming out of that blue corner, right into the red, but they didn't really make the contact they wanted. So now we have a grabber up against the shunter, and I think that is a spinner on the other platform there as well. It is. It's a rated sword spinner, it's an interesting design choice. Lots of teeth, lots of bite. Should cut into them very nicely. And as we said, this is a student category. Now, we'll be all strong off there. Uh, you're yeah, hearing yeah. the shredding sound of that sword. If you were to start a robot, what would you do for the first robot? Well, I've gone for a clip for myself uh, as my first man. I think I just love them so much. The spinners, they, they do look down, they um, could be problematic with your first kind of trial. Well, Mr. Powell doing everything they can to stay out of harm's way, but they have still have speed. All they need to do is get on the outside of the arena and charge down their competitor. And now the pit has dropped, so we will see if someone manages to make their way in there or if they can escape. Mr. Powell being pushed up against the corner. There's skirting. Skirting on the edge there. They're attempting to face. The grab is trying to get a hold. But no joy yet. And so they're trying to get someone with their grab on it. Oh, they will. Oh, and the floor blade, now we're hearing the floor blade. Yeah, I'm trying to bury it so I have to be here. Sometimes I'm going to be able to escape. I know Mr. Plow, you have to be so careful when pushing your competitor. Oh, yes. So a little bit slow there. Once again, Mr. Plow getting very close to pushing it in. With only one wheel, it's very difficult to manoeuvre, but it's even harder to push them because they're just not moving as you would expect. Nine, and they can escape quite quickly. Seven, they're going to lose, I believe, five, to a judge's decision. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> so, over to the judges for a freeway decision. So Gertrude making the move and Botboy already on to Gertrude putting that spinner right up against the arena wall, disabling it, so that is a brilliant driving maneuver from them. Darren now into the fray trying to grab a hold of Botboy but not quite able to and the spinner is up to speed. They need to watch out for the dangerous spinner and uh, Darren taking a little bit of damage, Darren, you can hear it grinding away, grinding away. From first time college bot, Gertrude, 
very violent. Incredibly violent, but as always with the spinner, it's hard to maneuver because you have a gyroid on your vehicle. And now Bot's Boy grabbing a hold. Were they actually able to do much with that? I'm not too sure. The pitch button is enabled if anyone makes their way over. We're seeing once again the spinner having trouble getting a hold of anything on that front way. So the pit has now been descended. Darren making their way over, as is Gertrude and Gertrude and grinding he, away. Bugs Boy may actually be stuck under that pit release button now free. But Gertrude just helps him out there a little yeah. bit. They want to do damage to that robot. Yeah, Gertrude just can wedge. It's doing, Gertrude's doing more damage to the arena than the other robots. But once again, Bot Boy has grabbed the hole, pushed them up against the side, trying to disable that spinner, and now Darren is taking the brunt. He's just going left, right, left, right, taking hits on both robots. And they're working together, desperately trying to put Gertrude into the pit. They are getting closer, the tug of war has begun. So, Bot Boy trying to get the pincer down to hold Gertrude in position. And now Bot Boy taking the tech. Uh, uh, Darren and the spinner, you can hear the spinner, so aggressive. Darren, not afraid there, Eight. going head on. Seven. And the countdown Six. has begun, Five. so unless we see any Four. dramatic action, Three. this is going to go to the judges. Okay. Well, well, well. So the spinner got up to speed, but because of the shape of the. Three. Two. One. So Hercules, the grabber robot, has just thrown a wheel already. And the combobulator, the vertical spinner... That is not a well-balanced... And the sun shape is Cormoran. So much damage, so much shrapnel can come off of Cormoran. Oh yeah. I think they're more a sacrificial robot at this point. Hercules is getting a good grab though. The combobulator seems to have an unbalanced disc. So the vibrations there, jumping up and down, not able to get close enough to the gravity. No, and it will be shaking loose the insides as well. Going down. The corner is going to move outside of its circumference. And another wheel, another wheel has come off. Oh no. We're losing. And we're hearing the countdown. Corner is gone. And now. Being pushed into the pit by the Kabobi Yeah, so the spinner, your war jet kind of. Three, two, one, So our first two ball battle and grapple going straight into the eagle, trying to get underneath, trying to get the grapple engaged. And you're flipping around there, trying to keep Eagle away from them. Eagle is a very low robot, though. They're going to struggle to get in underneath. Especially with the speed of grapple turnover. They're just ramping all over the place. And just as you said, they're driving up and over Eagle. So they're going to have to go around the back or the sides because yeah. that front shield is way too low. The grapple get on them, but they've just done they've that. They've turned themselves over. So not quite the plan. It looks like Eagles maybe a bit too stable for a grapple to turn them over. But the pit has now been enabled. Eagle, I think they're left, lifting all but one of those wheels off, but back down on the area of the floor. So grapple escaping. Eagle, oh, oh. so close! Driving underneath, so even Eagle. The anti-gravity section of his robot is staying just about. Eagle with a lovely blip using their force. And again, drifting so close to that pit edge, Eagle, you have to be careful. Grapple though, doing a brilliant job to evade this manoeuvre. And you have to say, Eagle has to be as careful as Grapple because they can go right under as they do there. Yeah, absolutely. These two robots are really well matched. A good little turn to the Grapple there from Grapple turnover. And I think Grapple almost got wedged a little bit there underneath the Grapple of Eagle. So, Eagle once again drifting so close to the pit. They're trying to make some gap up. Safety cross, Three. got one Come your ears if you're young. This is going to get a bit mental. So, Drizzle in the blue corner. Baby Shrek in the red. And they are so scared of each other. Here's the and now we are off, so once again back on their faces, they're down the floor. Drizzle. And Drizzle. Issues. 
It started to suffer from the gyro effects of Baby Shrek trying to go to the side and now we got some sparks flying. But as soon as drizzle, as soon as that wheel hits, they're up and over, but thankfully landing on their floor. Can they control that robot? Enable. Baby Shrek goes for that pin button. You've got to be careful though, they don't want to spin it in. Well, I think Drizzle knows that he's made to steal, but there it goes. Into the pit. And Drizzle is out of the competition. Shocker. Third place at the last event. I'm pitted here. Such an interesting battle. Neither robot really wanting to engage with the other. Not at all. Three, two, one. Begin. Here we go then. Metis with the box rush, but misses. And Enchanter managing to scupper away, getting that spinner up into the higher RPMs. Can they do damage with it? Well, I think we did say no spinner. Oh no. I think that's what Metis would like, that spinner, but unfortunately there's one there, and it's got a good hold of Metis. So are we going to see that spinner come down, and there it is, starts to make some inroads into the armour. Just coming through. Metis is 10 mil HCP almost all over, so it's going to be hard it gets into the PC in it. Enable. But they are definitely giving it a good go, and oh, the hold is such a strong grip that Enchanter has there. But finally they're able to break through, but not for long. Enchanter once again getting them in their grips. And now we have Enchanter up on the ramp of Metis. Metis not quite able to flip there, but ooh, very close to. That sword you heard just touched the arena floor, stopping the flip, so they're still on their wheels. So the pit button is enabled if we see someone move over together. And is that a wheel in the that arena is a there? Metis wheel has gone. So the controllability on Metis is going to be struggling. That is going to be words of encouragement to Enchanter. Oh, no. It's evened up now. Enchanter has also lost the wheel. Honestly, I am jinxing every battle that yeah, happens. Yeah. So Enchanter is a one wheel race between two of them. And they're desperately trying to get close to each other as I hear a countdown from the referee. It, but it's starting to sound like the start of a good joke, two unicycles enter a fight. And we're, this, is, this is a very challenging battle, so they're able to get top contact, they're closer to each other, but with one wheel each, they are just pirouetting and really using the arena floor to manoeuvre. But the countdown has begun, no it's not because they're moving again. I feel sorry for the referee, I don't know how to call this one either. Eight, but thankfully, seven, mercifully, six, the clock five, has begun. Four, and both these robots three, are just trying to get some last hits before one, the time has stopped. That is it. It will go to the judges, and this is going to be a tight one. Both have lost wheels, that's quite visible. Do you want to hear a really good joke? Uh, do, you want, do you want to hear me say it again? Yeah. Uh, we in the red one. Big here. So Novaloda tracking their way over to a lot long last and this is going to be a battle of driving and they're over the top they go. Long last getting their flipper engaged. So this is going to be all about driver and maneuverability, control. And a little bit of aggression as well as we're starting to see who is going to be the aggressor in this battle. Yes, long so last. Aggressive driving will come into it element in this fight. And as you can see, both roboteers trying to go through the side, because the front of the, each of the robots is so low, but the side is where there's less protection, and Mother Loader going straight for the button, so now it is going to be a dance, as they dance around the pit. Who is going to make their way over? Mother Loader backing themselves into the corner, and now at long last, into the same corner. You have to say, Mother Loader has a much better traction with those tracks. Yeah. So Long Mass is going to have to rely on maneuverability to get them into the pit. I'll also say, how low Mother Loader is and how small it is, it's such a compact machine for a beetle. And as we've seen in previous battles, Long Mass using a really weird tactic of pinning them under the flipper. So grabbing them under the flipper, but Mother Loader now in the driver's seat, Make Long Mass nice is in push. trouble. They're getting closer to the pit, on the edge, but Mother Loader couldn't get the angle, drove them right past in long last, now on the offensive, as the Mother Loader goes up onto the flipper, back towards the pit we go, but Mother Loader, much better traction with those tracks, and once again wedging themselves under the flipper of long last. I think that is a really interesting tactic, Mother Loader might actually benefit from being grabbed. Yeah, you can see that they're grabbing with that 
uh, the top forks on Mother Lola, just catching and pinning at long last there to control the lap and drive them all around. You can see the countdown Seven. right now. Six. And once again, long last, half of them in their grass, not alone, they not escape, they're driving as much as they can. And it will go to a judge's decision. So, a very technical battle. Yes. We've had a lot of spinners, a lot of carnage. This was a very different type of battle. Oh, yeah. Much more technical, much more tactical, and well. And Three, two, one, begin. And Tamamone looking to make a way in towards Spoopy, but Spoopy actually looking like the aggressor in that. But now Tamamone pushing them up against the arena pit wall. They do not want the spinner to fully engage. Spoopy's panels that came off last time have done it again, and they've also thrown the weapon belt, so there's no more spinner from them. So now it is just a battle of traction. Who can push who? And you have to say that puts it in Tamanone's favour quite dramatically as they are designed yeah. for this type of combat. A good flex there from Tamalina Nate. And now, from having it removed by Night Fury earlier on. And can Spoopy self right? This is a big question now. I don't think they can, but they are reversible. They can still drive somewhat upside down, of course. It does make it a bit more difficult. And Tamalina Nate wasting no time as soon as the pit button became active. And it's even more difficult for them now to get away. And into the pit they go! Tamalina Nate is your winner. We are still waiting for the decision of the last match, I should also say. There will be a relief to the judges oh, that yeah. ended through a pitfall. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Three, two, one, begin. Oh, yeah. The trouble with trust is that you can face one and the other can come around behind you. That's exactly what we're seeing here. And one of, the, one of the cluster has a drum, the other one is a wedge, so they will be multi-attack on the Cryabout, and Cryabout are now shoved up against the arena wall, and that drum spinner is just grinding away at the back. Not much they can do about it, either. That drum is doing quite better than it did in the first round. And it's spinning all over the place, Cryabout are doing multiple flips. They're struggling to get any fight into this battle. The other Cry is seemingly having some driving issues. And I want to say that the cluster bots are actually attacking each other there, not on purpose, just purely by accident. And now Cryabout are doing their best to get into the fight. The drum spinner though is so lethal and it seems to have something wedged in it. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. It could be a weapon belt. The weapon probably is from Cryabout. It does look like it is the same colour, so Cryabout is now potentially able to get a hit in. Throwing back the drum spinner of oh, it's all the drum and, and it's all entangled in there as well. Unintentional entanglement is fine. I think that's all the same. So the cry about it now going on the offensive actually after taking a number of hits they're doing a good amount of damage, getting that spinner up and look at the damage they're doing. Oh, they have ripped the top. They have ripped the top off one cluster. Now the pit is open, but the fight has been paused. It would seem some important units have been taken out of the robot. <laughs> yep, it's a lipo macho. So when a lipo is taken out of the robot, that's potentially quite hazardous. Um, it's a chemical battery, and if it gets hit, there will be... <laughs> So we are ready to restart this battle. Stand by. Three, two, one, begin. So it's a much fairer fight now. Cry about it! <laughs> wow. 30 seconds on the clock, five seconds needed. This a drum working the way to cry about it. Cry about it didn't even move and just pushed them off to the side. They didn't want any further part in that battle. That is how you finish a battle. That was brilliant. Well done. Thank you. So, redemption round. Africa grab your first Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice actually getting up to speed now, and Africa grab you. Unable to move. They look like they're out. But hang on. Both of them have stopped. They have both ceased moving, so I'm looking at the referee. The referee is unsure. They don't know what to do. 
That is a double KO so, robots counted out simultaneously. So, Javon, do you know what happens in this situation? Is it who stopped first, or how do they decide? That is being, I think, discussed now. <laughs> So yeah, we do have the replay. We do have the replay up here. Yeah. Three, two, one. Begin. Oh, so Loki's slow to get out there. The honey badger making the aggressive move, but straight away a wheel is coming off there, and you can see honey badger jittering around the arena. They are now on one wheel. That might have been damaged from their previous battle, who has been put back together. Uh, but how to get to my prayer. And now Loki is going to be trying to grapple. It looks like they're trying to grapple the wheel, because that really is the only place they can gain much purchase. Such a weird shape is the Honey Badger. Loki's struggling to engage, but Honey Badger getting very close to the pit. They need to be careful. On one wheel, they cannot escape the pit very easily. Yeah, we heard earlier that uh, Alex and uh, Loki were having trouble engaging with the arena floor with their wheels, not too much grip. Um, but it seems to be doing all right at this point. I think uh, Honey Badger may be having more issues trying to grip the floor with one wheel. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can feed more into this. It almost looks like to me Loki is trying to pull out the kill switch on the Honey Badger. I think he was trying to. Um, the, the, uh, the people are quite well held in. They can try, one, but I think they're just trying to grab any points they can. Honey Badger's a difficult shape to grab at the best of times. They seem to be doing a good job now, however. But now the flipper of the Honey Badger was lifted up, and that's allowed Loki to actually gain some purchase. We're now going to see a tug of war with one wheel. You have to say Honey Badger is struggling and is so slow, so precarious as we get closer to the pit. Honey Badger just manoeuvring out of the way, Loki doing everything they can to stay on the right side of the pit. They want to keep Honey Badger in between them and the pit. Loki now struggling to drive, or are they just more on a scene that could be it? You have to say it's a very careful battle. You don't want to drive in too quickly because that will put you on the back foot. And we've seen it before, you will miss your opponent and you're going to pit yourself. So we might going to come to the end of play for this battle. Four. Three, two, Can Loki one. get one last hit in? So a very interesting battle there. Honey Badger losing the wheel quite early into the battle. Yeah, and then... Please put the comments in, please say hello. Yeah. Please comment on the battle so we get ready for this fight. Here we go then, the central of the box. Now the bucket. The wild... And that spinner is doing so much damage, it really is up to speed, you can hear it actually. Up and down on the floor, over we go. Can they get back on the floor? They can. And now what's the danger? They can do themselves though, that is the question. And I think, I think they're immobilized, I think they're stuck moving. They're oh, stuck moving outside of the conference. So it's that uh, bad out of the battle where they're getting bouncing all around. They so much damage to everything, including themselves. So, from a goal in front of the goal, Ascension is now winning by Gandalf. Yep, that's how quickly it's done. So, Inferno versus AOP in blue. AOP in blue. Thank you. We're going to have this as a dinner from tomorrow. They're going to have some bit of the Ipper again. So, is that AOP on the Ascension? Is that that piece of paper? Is that the Ipper? Now AOP struggling as the Inferno gets underneath and now Inferno going to the back of AOP and they're the important of the back of the robot that's what it's doing But anyway, as I see it, Inferno is stuck on the pit wall! Inferno is stuck! Oh, he's won! And they just got out! The count started and AOP got them taken by Lucky there but no way. So that was incredibly close, thank you for that quick traction as we now get the arena pitch open and here we go, we're going to be deserting the FBI, we're going to be able to go and they're up into the air and now it's going to be looking to put them into the pit I don't think they have much left in this battle, can they? Yeah, they're going to be able to go! Let's put them into the pit! There we go, it's going to be traction 
So, let's stand, saving himself from this, and into the pit. And Titan, a little bit of showboat now. We haven't seen too much of that today. But a lovely guy that's sitting on our way. I say showboat, and they pretty much lost control of that. Is that it? 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 And there's going to be a battle of driver control. Who can shut the other one the furthest? And we're seeing this to power such a quick, easy robot. It really is. There's something that's lined up where they want it to. It's so quick. It's a good turn in the world. And under control, trying to grab a hold. They have a slight flip on them. They're going to be easily controlling this to power. Yeah, it's just the most uh, upside down is much more difficult to drive than the right side up. And I have to say, Mr. Plow there, getting the bits of the lead, the acceleration they have is truly really incredible. Yeah, there's a lot of chance there, close to the end. And the pitch has been enabled, so, the pitch is really good. Now it is a real challenge. Who can control the other robot? They're going to be pushing each other all oh, no, over the pit. And that is brilliant control now. Mr. Plow actually looks stuck on the plow and the back end of all the controls. Yeah, yeah, this is a great lift from under control. Just getting all four wheels off of the area floor and that plow was stuck in place. I think they might be caught on a little lift in the rear, actually. They can't seem to get through that spot. And actually, neither of them are able to get through. So, under control, are currently under control. They're able to lift and lower Mr. Plow. They're really getting out some good points. So, I think really to get it through. At this point, just turning around, there we go. Both robots should now be free. Only control, only control the point. And Mr. Plough almost looks like this. Cannot get the traction, and now they're back down. So, very close to the pit. And once again, reversing towards the pit. They have to be careful. There's debris in the arena that they have to watch out for. And again, getting so close to the pit. He's on the edge, trying to tease the other one into the pit. It's a very good strategy. And the countdown has begun. Okay, let's just see if another test What? Thank you. Is that how we might start in? I was going to say, let's have your We'll announce the results after this battle. So, Boom Zoom and Disorder. So, Boom Zoom is the green robot lifting up Disorder and pinning them up against the wall. Can Boom Zoom get that lifter back down? Yes, they can. And it's so close, out. so close to the out zone. They're very close. So Boom Zoom, they know what strategy they're employing today. They are pushing them up against the wall and trying to lift them out. They can only pin for 10 seconds though, but they have to pin for 10 seconds. And Disorder has hit the pit button and hit it and the pit with an angle. So Disorder, you have to say Disorder, they're going to try and get Boom Zoom into the pit, whereas Boom Zoom is going to try and lift. Disorder out of the arena, or maybe even up onto their top and then carry them to the pit, as we just saw for Boom Zoom. You have to say Boom Zoom doing brilliant control here. Yeah, certainly in charges by a good grapple there. Really good. So all the wheels come off the ground from Boom Zoom. So grapple by Disorder, exactly what they need to do. I have to say the aggression so far I think has been in Boom Zoom's favour, but Disorder now looking to be stuck. No, they're able to get to the wall, are they? They encountered out by the looks of things. Boom Zoom not engaging, or who has done that? Which has a reset the count. So, for those watching, if they engage, that resets the count by the referee. So, Boom Zoom being very cheeky there, making the referee start and count again. And that is disorder out of this competition. Well, we have the British decision for the last fight. And we have both the Robert Tears here on us as well, so who is the victor? It is a split decision in favour of... Corner Dodge Calling, Blue Corner Hercules, let's go fighting! So, Hercules trying to get a pincer onto Dodge Calling. Will they keep all their wheels this time round? And you have to say, I think that is a grapple, I'm not too sure, but Hercules seems to have their pincers engaged onto Dodge Calling, pushing them up against the side The Dodge Calling. Yeah, there's a big size difference between the two machines. You can see the big dust pan design for Boy Boy to make to get control. I heard he was doing a good job of putting it in the corner there. And now Boy Boy is just reassessing the situation. Hercules is taking the initiative, pushing the pit button. And then the back 
Battle, but Bolsboy able to grab him, they have a hold, and Hercules, they really are, Hercules has more maneuverability, really but Bolsboy seems to have more weight, more momentum yeah, behind yeah. him. Yeah, definitely more pushing, more talking in those wheels than Hercules, they are struggling to push back, although I say that, that was a good one push. So you have to think, thinking about this battle, if you're Hercules, potentially you want the battle to be near the pit, because you can maneuver better. Bot Boy might get caught out and accidentally fall down, so... Sorry, there's only more to get caught on that pit lift, and if it gets caught, you have to get off it. But so far, both of us staying away from the pit zone, and neither of them want to face the oblivion. So, it is coming down to grapples, it is coming down to aggression, and now we are making our way over to the pit. Bot Boy getting a little bit caught on the arena floor, and Hercules... You can see his wheels going around. Around. Hercules sneaking around the back there, riding up, trying to gain some form of purchase for Bosch Boy once again grappling onto Hercules. It's a really good grab there from Bosch Boy. And they're starting to shoot their way over to the pit. Yeah, they need to get more wheels on the arena floor though, Hercules can get out of that one. And once again Hercules with that brilliant maneuverability, grabbing the back side of Bosch Boy, they're dancing around the pit. Judges, we go. Very, very close before. Really good control match for both Omos there. So, grabs on both sides. You're watching the replays there. A brilliant grab by Bob's boy. Yeah, it just managed to sandwich the wheels in, but you can see those two outside wheels. So, good, good morning. That's good point yeah. there, isn't it? But now we're ready to battle. Darren in the blue corner. The corner in the red. And can we see we have some different designs of the corner? And straight away, Darren wedging themselves underneath. I'm going to call this move a tap something. It has two things standing down the front that I'm concerned. Stephanie, it's more like a frisbee, isn't it? It is definitely like a frisbee. Do you think it's not rotating much like, um, much like Beetlejuice was able to do? If they rotate those serrated edges, might be able to do some damage. But right now, Darren really getting close. They are a grab of all of they want to be yeah, yeah. they want to be pinching on the board. Unfortunately, they were quite far away, so instead of grabbing, they're just sort of patting it on the neck. Um, they can't get out of here. This is what they're trying to do. They're trying to pinch all the way. Yeah, they're trying to get damaged. They're expecting that. 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 they are expecting that 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 they are
very treacherous of the pit, down in the eagle getting very close. And you have to say, Babarov doing a great job there, trying to put an eagle into a dangerous situation. They're almost under control. We are but in the round of 32, and if they go out to this stage, that's it. So we'll see the elimination from here on out. There is no way back into the competition once you are gone, and that's a good shot, head on head. Igor versus Babrov, both of them not shying away from the other, and Babrov really doing a great job to grapple Igor as they now put them into the blue zone, and there's not much Igor can do as Babrov grapples them around the cage, and Igor very close. Oh, are they wedged? Stuck. They are wedged, they get the out way. of there. Very good driving from the Igor team there. So unlike last time, the flipper was able to lift them up, but once again they got stuck again. Those balls very low to the ground. As we said earlier on, get stuck underneath the uh, arena wall, which is designed to have that little gap to catch the forks and and Babarov also with some very low pinches on his own. They have chosen those pinches six, for this fight. Five, the countdown has been going again, close to the end, but the last minute aggression four, from Babarov. Yeah, 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 right at the end of the match, what a good end. And a very good lasting impression with the judges. What a show of strength there from Babarov. Really got a grip on the door. Oh yeah, we're seeing it again, hopefully very soon, in super slow mode. So we're looking at the replay. We're ready to go again with it. Blue and Agro Roberts, finish this one again. A different face for Agro Roberts this one, more forky than the last. And Agro being the aggressor, probably the quickest one out of the block, and Loki up onto the back, being slammed against the arena wall, and they're stuck on top. Loki not making much movement here actually, only the pinches going up and down. And the countdown has already begun, that does appear to be the end. We'll only know in two seconds time. Hands it out. Oh, and now they start to move. Oh no! The 10 second countdown and then Loki finally gains traction. But I do know the classic phrase is probably there. Sometimes it do be like me. I don't know where to go from that one. I'm going to need to sit there. Three, two, one. Thank you. So we have to learn that short as the fight has begun between Slamko and Cry About It. So Cry About It taking a bit of a beating in their last fight. That's what Slamko, so these two yeah. robots that have been repaired. And Slamko with a lovely lift there, though. And Cry About It now has their spinner up and running. You can hear the aggression. It's struggling to rotate and now it's making damage onto Slamko. Slamko trying to get underneath and they have. And they get not able to. to. Slamko's one of those robots that you can see. And they're just driving up and down all over Slamco, doing damage. Torn up there, but look at that, look at the twisted metal on Slamco, that lifter has been really buckled by Cry About It, and we're seeing damage flying around. And that's now causing Cry About It to have to upside down, and they self-right, do they need to self-right? They need that spin as self-right, but they're looking at the spin, they're going to lose so Cry About It is somewhat neutralised themselves, the pitch has been lowered and now I almost fear the fight has turned into Slamco's favour with Cry About It losing their spin and Slamco. be really careful here to not end up in the pit. Slamco and it's getting closer, we are getting closer, Slamco being patient, pushing them, nudging them ever closer to the pit. They don't want to turn that way because they are having issues driving as it is, that spin so now, now with Slamco, their spinner has become an extra wheel. Can they control that the same way they control the wheels? Unfortunately not, because the two is sticking out. One wheel hovering over the pit there, a really good pushing match. And you can see everyone's getting closer to the arena, wanting to know what's about to happen. Let's cry about it, perpendicular to the trouble they want to be facing. They want to be head on to Slamco, try and drive over and then get behind. They just can't do that right now. Slamco came off. That whole front end is bent to the only 10 seconds left in the fight. So it's going to come down to the judges and the Slamco has one last burst of speed. That's the end of the fight. And Cry About It threw the sigh of relief, I'm sure Slamco do as well. It's going to be a really tough one for the judges. One wheel has actually come off right in the end of the match. I can see it very wonky on the robot. The weapon looks like it is happening. Slamco is secret against the score box. That top panel, see through. So we can see exactly what their score is. And then Jackson will flip off the box there, trying to stop the weapons and Slamco from getting up to speed. And now we see a Jackson, a little bit stuck here. And I think. 
they're going to be in trouble with slapping stuff to do some damage with their drum weapon. You might even see someone hit the out zone here. Each other cannot get down from there. Slapping is not going to jump. The score is just broken. So that is damage all over the place. You see yellow lights there. Buddy Cancer is back on the right. Or, but they do look to be stuck. Slapping is giving them no chance to the top. Some amazing hits in that fight. We've seen this fight with replay. Look at this. Two. One. Big game. And Papa Murder is slightly slower over the track, which allows you to get that spinner up to power and right away they're doing damage to the bulldozer of Papa Murder. And across the arena they get plugged. I was going to say, Papa Murder is doing a really good job, so it's not allowed a fight. That weapon two does not hit it away. The best way to defend against a drum spinner is to have a flat surface that you put up against it and give it really no purchase whatsoever. So another loader, somewhat controlling this battle, pushing you right back into the corner again. They can only pin for 10 seconds, and that's what, that's what the loader did not want, a hit on the corner, they get thrown up into the air, and they're so close to the out zone, Oopley desperately trying to throw them out, before the pick the game. And another big hit, upside down, that's not going to help them out at all. And the big hit, this is the first time we've seen the loader upside down, so now the scooper no longer in effect. It is the wrong way up, but of course it is a flat surface. You yeah. can't spin it, still cannot get any purchase on it. Right side up once again. And move this way to the pit, so another loader. They know that the pit is their construction for winning this fight. As more damage happens to another loader, and now the belt is starting to come under attack. Oop is doing brilliant amount of damage, but they need to be careful. They are on the wrong side of the pit box, and they are moving ever closer. Getting away, and now they move the way well away. And listen to that sound as it runs against the shield. It's a really good if you're looking at the structure, these two robots are still removing, not being able to get any fight, so not very many anyway. Won't come down at all, and they're coming down to the final two seconds. So five seconds left, and it's getting very close. Rubber Loader making one last push to get her into the pit. Unable to do so. But you have to say, Rubber Loader, without any weaponry on board, they're going to bring the drop and slam it in the The best that they've performed today so far, for sure. They get some really tough opponent from the winner of the night. Three, two, one, begin. Expect explosions. And the two spinners are out to see. They're not ready to make Just in the right of place. They're making their way to the out zone. Didn't quite get all the way. Nightmare is sitting back and watching the carnage. Nightmare is still struggling to get spun up there, but he's back up now. And they're, they're really struck in the corner there. Always just got to stop driving. And as I say that, they get their attack off. Up again. The wall, baby Shrek jumping all over again, the night crew, but more stable on the ground. Uh, but it looks like Baby Shrek now watching on the wing. And that the is the, the disc spinner of Baby Shrek has just been damaged quite heavily. Some sort of bolt has come out there. So the massive amount of damage trying to leave the report there. That's what happens with these things. And the pit, the better at pushing at this stage, the night Knife down, up into the sky. That could be nice if they were done. Did they know it? Baby Shrek, make their way first for the ball. Relay that. Three, two, one. Baby. Here we go then. I'm boring for charging in front of them, able to get the drum up and running, but boring for putting them into the corner. So far, the aggressor, you have to say, but now the weapons are in damage on Boring Boss. The sparks are flying all over the arena, and Boring Boss up into the air. Both of the weapons are on the air, down. And that's very true, there's not spending in the race at all the years, so Boring Boss now has a chance to get in there, try and get the gripper in there and grab all the robots. 
so Boring Bolt slamming the third up against the side there. Again, Boring Bolt being quite aggressive despite going up against the horrible leopard. Now, the spinner just isn't getting the traction it should be to get going properly. Boring Bolt able to control this battle really nicely. And yeah, yeah. they're trying to push back, but tries to be flipped over there. And the pit button has been enabled, but neither bot opting to go towards that direction. No, Boring bot yeah. pinning up against the side, slamming against the arena side again. Inferno is still spinning, but it's just not got the speed. Just not the pose that it used to have. A shadow of its former self, you could say. And the Boring bot is running all over them. They really are knocking them from pit to post. But the button yeah, has yeah. been hit, so now the pit coming into play. Yeah. And I have to say, Inferno, I think their only opportunity at this point is to get a pit. Yeah, absolutely. Inferno really reaching for solutions here. But now Inferno pitting them into the corner, so a little bit of a change there, but Boring Bot coming back out, chasing down Inferno. And it's nice to see Inferno still spinning up the drum, but it's really it's not really hard. Yeah, it's really hard to see Inferno really getting out of the way of the Boring Bot. Yeah, they're really trying to get out of the but the, the arms on the boring box just aren't long enough to get the grip over in front of that it needs for a two minute through grappling. Nine, ten seconds for the fight. Six. So once again, stand up against the grip. Okay, grab though. Up on the top. Can they move it towards the pit? Just not enough time to do an intro there. And that's, you know, got back up to speed properly at the end there as well. Just not in time though. So, boring box. You have to say, controlled that fight quite impressively given the lack of um, armory. Yes. Yeah. Turn over there. Three, two, one. Turn over there. First to make a move. Uh, so it's a good job to say so. I've done a couple of times. So twice, right? Leaving the cell phone and the game vertex coming in for more of that. They are not getting up. That's not where you throw the game to the bottom of the game. So that's going to drastically impact on the movement's ability to flip them. And now they're moving closer to the knockout zone. The act zone. And I actually think that might be the end of Sanadone. The knockout has begun. And that's the end of that. Three of us call up for the next fight. Speed, head bottom goes. Brian Peter, Jesus, Nick Love, Frey, Ascension, Gertrude, and Kuzu. So Vertex, in his short world at work about fighting, getting the skin out to ski, doing the damage quick, knocking them away in the shot. We did see his shot open time earlier, we did. But unfortunately, Vertex was just. So now it's the next fight. In the side of the red. Tyson Cole up against the ceiling. In the side, still operational though. You have to say that's quite some pressure getting ahead of this pick. And the ceiling lift of in the side. One of them is again attacking. Thank you so much. on there to bring them back and Angel Slice looking to get in there doing some damage. It's so much to now and Angel Slice is still spinning. And Titan is actually upside down as you said so Angel Slice now with a bit of an advantage. No longer does Titan have the hooks to get underneath Angel Slice and Angel Slice's weapon struggling to get up to speed actually. Yeah they've taken some damage on that side for sure. And actually as I watch Titan they're probably isn't spinning much either so both robots are really quite damaged, wounded here as we're now pretty much into a shoving match between the two robots. Absolutely. This is going to be all tactics, control, and aggression. Waiting, waiting for the pit to become active. I think that's where we're going to be going next. Angel Slice looks to be hovering around the bottom, ready to hit it. But constantly going in, trying to get some damage done. Angel Slice giving up on their spinner altogether, as has Titan. Good push so Tyson doing a zigzag, trying to get around the arena, but really struggling. We have to say, Angel Slice is actually in more control. Reference is starting to count on Tyson, but Tyson is able to move outside of that perimeter. Yeah, they're really struggling to drive the tread line anymore. I think one side of drive is going to have to go. And into the pit! Into the pit of Tyson! And Angel Slice is right 
So feedback from the start of our party, Angel Spiders, Rome, right up into the ceiling. Such a dramatic hit. David's checking the game as he turns his man. He's going to go in the blue corner, he's going to get to know his feet. And now it is all over the shop. And then Boss really just watching the car, there's not much you can do, there's no point chasing after the road. Yeah, they just have to be a Oh, 
but they're hard to see, they're very fine. That's why we often see them come overhead because they can grab them in place, hold them where they want them, and then bring it down to see if it cuts. And I think Tarkis has had enough now. They've decided to hit the pit button. Two wheels left. 
which is, might even improve the drivability actually. Maybe, yeah. Balancing the, the vehicle now, and Darren is on the edge of the pits. They're trying to coax Tarkas towards them. Tarkas isn't going to be tempted. They know that they have got the aggression in this fight. Darren needs to really pull some weights now if they want anything to do. 20 seconds left of the battle, and I'm really struggling to see how this is going to end. I think it's going to come down to the timer. Tarkas again. Running away from Darren at this point, I think they've done enough. Yeah. Darren, though, not quite done. A last finish now. And it's all over, and up will go to the judges. So let's talk about that a bit more. Tarkas, very unforgiving, and actually might have been there down 60. Robot here, stand by. Three. Two, one, begin. So Babrock, I expect to make full charge as they don't want that spinner to get up, but they get caught on the side. End boss with those long, as you said, those long forks are really keeping Babrock away from them. But now the spinner is up, they are starting to fly a little bit, and Babrock is doing a brilliant job getting in, pushing them up against the side, and they're lifted onto the side of the arena. They are, and that long fork is really actually being the end of the detriment here, because, as you said, holding them away, they're not getting the advantage of the weaponry. So there was a brilliant pin there, holding them up against the side, but, and again, it looks like they're going to do the same again. So Enbos has a lethal weapon, but they just can't get close enough. And as I say that now, tickling the back end of Babrog, but not doing much damage. And Babrog struggling to maneuver around the arena. They're getting close to the pitch being enabled. Those long forks seem to be sticking up into the air like spears now. It's almost as if the, uh, the air from the plane, from the disc, is lifting up the ball. Let's watch the replay, pinning them up against the side, breaking the identity from Babarov, shoving them against the arena side. They really were in control up until a certain point, and I can't quite calculate where that was. Babarov though, maneuvering, out maneuvering, end boss all over the shop again. Hold. What? Well done. And now moving, baby strapped first, Slav King, Slav King on the blue zone, baby strapped in the red. And it's a strong oh. So Drummer versus Belgian and Baby Shrek bouncing around, shrapnel flying all over the arena, and now we have Slap King up against the side. Baby Shrek is struggling one side drive, and actually both of them are struggling as well. Both of them are struggling, but they are maneuvering. So the issue is Slap is up against the pit zone. If that button is pressed, Slap is in a dangerous spot. But Baby Shrek trying to get some damage in. That vertical spinner on the side, doing some damage against the drum. And they are backing away slightly, waiting to make a move. Yeah, Strange is waiting for them to not be weapon to weapon. They don't want to get it again because they've come off the worst and both the counts of that way. And Baby Shrek is exactly where he wanted to be, on the back end of Slab King, where that weapon can do the most amount of damage without the fear of the drum. Absolutely. And now we well, have Slab King. Move across the arena to stay in the battle and give control to Slab. We're going to believe but Baby Shrek getting on top of them with that sword. The pit has been enabled. Slap him up against the side. They are still not going to drive. Are they going to drive on the way over? Up again once again. And seeing that one has dropped down on Slap King. And that's Slap King exposing the rear end for Baby Shrek just to rip into the back of them. And that looks like the end of the fight. The countdown has begun for Slap King. Baby Shrek doing their victory jab. The competitors hug each other. It's no love lost. The battle of the Sam concludes. It's Sam who wins. Congratulations, Baby Shrek. So we'll watch the replay. You can see damage being done there. Yeah, it's the last few seconds. But now, in this battle, the boring box in the blue zone versus me, Spinny, in the red. Thank you. Yeah, it was very calculated. So the spinner getting up to speed by the boring bot. We've seen it time and time again. They know how to control a spinner bot. Really good grapple here. 
just released. They've got a new front end on this without the force by the looks of things and propped up. And Mini Spinner is stuck on his side. They were upside down, couldn't get the spinner engaged in boring bot. You have to say, a slightly boring battle so far, but what control, what calculation for boring bot? We're, well, we're, 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 we're unsure, replay. we're looking at the replay. Robot is standing. Oh, boys. Three, two. Oh, I'm not sure, we're looking at the replay now because we're unsure what happened here. So, waiting to see. Boring Bob there, we're, we're watching. Well, it's hard to see a countdown here. <laughs> So I'm going to leave it to the referees. <laughs> so they are just having a moment to confirm amongst themselves. It's a very challenging scenario. They are going to resume. Mini Spin 3 managed to get down just in the nick of time. So we will continue from where they started. So the, the judges have to keep in mind everything that just happened, but for the Roboteers this is a chance to reset themselves, get their nerves under control yeah, and restart the process. Controversy reigns in the people. Roboteers, stand by. Okay, okay. So, so the they're going to run yeah. the clock until there's one minute to fight. They're going to go for another minute. An incredible fight here. Both robots moving so quickly around the arena. Well, okay, so here we go. We have a minute to fill. Audience here today, if you think Boring Boy is going to win, give me a cheer. And if you think you want to see some damage from Mini Spinny, give me a cheer. <laughs> Boring Bot shaking their head desperate for no damage. I'm going to keep an eye on the referees, make sure we do not miss the start time. <laughs> so it is split, it's split here in the arena. Enable. That's uh, 30 seconds gone because the pitch doesn't enable until 30 seconds to fight. So we're kind of way there, Jack. Living on a prayer. Keep going, so not long left. I'm getting an applause from the judge. The judge is that well. So sorry. No, guys, don't the problem with that one, that'll be fine. So we are waiting for the countdown. We're looking at continue to look at the referees. So if you're wondering what happened, the match was restarted. We're gonna have a pause. Oh, pause. Yeah. And we're gonna resume. So the countdown is gonna get us going. Let's count down together. What's the button is press? Robot is stand by. One minute left on the clock. So all together. Three, two. One, one. Reshoot the fight! And Mini Spinny once again being turned over. Their blade is not up to speed. A boring bot has to say in control of this fight so far. Can Mini Spinny get the blade going? Unfortunately, it's not. It's not doing what it should be doing right now. And it is now a battle of driving, a battle of mobility. They're stuck with the blade here. Boring bot managed to get a good push. But they're close to the pit. Not in a good place. They're close really. to the pit. And either one can fall in at this point. Spinny has been devilish to cheeky here. Very... They are hiding in the corner. Boring Bob cannot get to them. Mini Spinny now with two wheels in the pit. Can Boring Bob get over there? Trying to get a grab. They're, they're just trying to get a grab. Get hold on this side though. But they and have the purchase. Now. They are under. They don't want to go in themselves. They Mini Spinny on here. the edge. Brilliant control from Boring Bot there. Fantastic maneuverability. Ultimately, the victor, but they had to work for it. Yeah, absolutely. Angel Slice on the red zone. Oobly in the blue. Oh, that bit in the air. The angel once again reaching for the heavens up to the sky. That's a lovely volunteer. And Oobly is just a vicious robot. They're not giving them any room to maneuver. Angel Slice back to face there. Once more. You could feel the aggression. Ubi oh, absolutely. was just on top of them, up into the roof, up into the roof, out of the arena. Three hits and they're out. Ubi, what a vicious robot. Yeah, this thing was a champion for a reason. And uh, yeah, they scored quite highly at the last event as well. They're sort of one of the last top seeds. Here we go then. Vertex getting the spinner up and up. 
and over to Joe Agro. And with that, their shield is now not really where they need it, but up and over they go again. So. I was talking to the Virgo team earlier, they said that these new forks, brand new to this event, they've been doing very well with them so far. And we can see pieces of shrapnel coming off by the panel. It's the, the forks off of the aggro rubber, who's lost one side of the side. In fact, he's lost two wheels, one at the front on one side and one at the back on the other. That's going to be hell to drive. Enable. And over again goes aggro to Vertex, giving no no chance to recover, there is no recovery in the robot battle. Although Vertex now stuck on the side. Unlucky for Agro, they were able to get themselves unhooked and up and over again goes Agro. That little one we used again. This absolutely rocketed into pieces. But you have to say, Agro actually doing a good job to get back into this fight. They are stopping the spinner from powering up. Absolutely, it's a tough little bot, and I think Vertex's spinner is actually struggling now. Are they down? Can they spin up anymore? Well, actually, it looks like one of their wheels is wedged as well, so they might have maneuverability issues. The pit has been engaged. Will we see Agro, the strength of us that it is, push Vertex into the pit? They are in the right position, although Agro, unlucky there, Vertex maneuvered out of the way. He's got to keep his cool here to try and get them down the pit. Agro will want to this win. Vertex doing a very good job of pinning in the corner though. And they know, Vertex knows that they've got the damage in this battle, so they Absolutely. want it to run down to the clock. 30 seconds left of this battle, and they are very happy watching Agro stuck in the corner there, just neatly packing it into the corner, and now Agro coming back out. If they can rotate themselves, Agro could push Vertex into the pit. And talk for a second. Very Seven, nice ride and six. Five, so this is very four, close, but three, it's going to go down two, to the timer, and that one. will mean it's a judge's decision. That is it. Two in the blue zone, spawning in the three, red. Two, one, fifty. Here we go then, two flipper bots. One is sort of more of a lift driver, I would say, in there, uh, Slamco. And Froy getting some lovely flipping in there. Just but missing on that one. And of course, Slamco doesn't really care. They're happy to be flipped. They do not mind. Oh, yeah, you can run inverted. Either way up, upside down, inside out. They don't mind. So here's a driver battle. Who can get under who? And as you can see, both bots maneuvering around and get onto the side. Slamco using that lifter is almost trying to grab hold of it. And didn't quite manage it. Trying to get in underneath the side of this point, front of this point, really low to the ground, they're not going to be able to get under there. And now that's the second flip, this is that. the third flip, this Slanko has now gone through to Slanko, fourth flip, this Slanko. Well, Scroin really is just throwing them around this arena, but the pit button has been enabled, and we can see Slanko making their way over. They look going to try and make this a battle of the pits, and we're heading over to the pit zone. Unfortunately, Slamco not able to get underneath. Strawing really is low down on that front part of the robot. Yeah, the flippers really need to be that low so that they can get the ground clearance. I think Slamco used to be that low, but they were telling me in the break that they had to replace the whole wedge after the first fight. So they are going to be on the back of the struggling here. But managed to get somewhat underneath Strawing, trying to get them lifted up. And for a second there, I thought Slamco was driving himself into oblivion, but not quite. As again, another flip from Sproin, so aggression being quite evenly distributed, but the flips are coming in thick and fast now from Sproin. That's Sproing. a good under, but and that's the drive off. Almost a grab there, as you mentioned. Slamco using their flipper as a bit of a grabber in a, in a different strategy. Yeah, they think they can get lower with that, I imagine, and they have done so. And as they are trying to work their way under, but Sproin is a bit too thick. They just don't have the jaws to be able to get around Eight. it. Remember it? Last few seconds. And up into the blue corner, so I don't think we're going to go to the pits. It looks like it's a judge's decision. One, One final flip. Right. That's going to be it. And we await the judge's decision once more. So. Through some Brown Lake, as we have. We have a bunch of the arena here against the two populators of the ball that tried to personal spin. So, Tarkus in the driving seat at the moment, putting the populator up against the wall, and so far in control, the spinner unable to get up and running. Tarkus doing everything they can to the populator, trying to get out, and the wheel is just taking itself off. 
He felt the pin was over with his wheels have actually come off. So the Tigers now, three words on their vehicle, and they really have just got a massive shield up against the Cobbulator. You can see inside the Cobbulator, there's a motor trying to spin around. It's not actually spinning anything, the weapon itself is stopped. So there will be just a pushing hatch. But the robot has lost two wheels now. So that's a very good spot now. Three wheels! Can we get a fourth wheel to come off? Oh no, they're so upsetting the Tigers. But three of jumped in big into the round of 16. However, the Combobulator doesn't seem to be able to do much here, so what are we going to get a count out? As they're slowly wiggling their way forward and backwards, so they make their way out of the perimeter, the count has stopped. But you have to say, the maneuverability, almost questionable, isn't it? I mean, at this point, just turn yourself into a spinner, drive on the spot in circles, and hopefully you'll do some damage to the Combobulator. That's one good idea, actually. Oh, I'm just hold up the power I can. So let's see what happens. So, oh, that's the wheels that I've got to do. So, yeah, use the wheels that you've knocked off as a projectile. That might do some damage. But the Compopulator, not really able to make much impact. It's not moving as a big guy. You need these two robots. I've played so many different seasons. And I dare say that the judges are going to have to think of those who consider this one. One. So, what a different type of fight. Most of the damage was self-inflicted, I have to say. And the judge's decision was very quickly held up. Uh, in the blue corner, Gertrude in the red. And they are very quick to shove Gertrude up against the pit wall. They do not want to face that spinner at all. And they're staying behind Gertrude. Both of these robots are chasing around the lane. But now Enigma, Enigma's flipper seems to be a distance. All three shots, that thing is not straight anymore. So it's been dislodged, that's no longer a huge for Enigma. That's going to make it really difficult. Enigma's relied on that to lift robots up. So that's a really good way to it. Of Gertrude and holding them pins for all 10 seconds, you can guarantee it. So Enigma, unfortunately, their spinner has been lost. They've lost all of that momentum and now they have to try and wind it back up as a member, doing everything they can to keep control of this fight. Staying behind Gertrude, and again, the arena's taking the brunt of the damage. Gertrude just cannot turn around, and they have had a good grasp, a good hold of this fight. You can see Enigma using their broken ground, broken Enigma as a battery. Very nice job indeed. It's not the first time we've seen that from flippers, we've seen that in before, so people are learning from other fights. Yeah. And that spinning disc is getting dangerously close to the grabber of the Enigma, or the flipper I should say. I want to see you as the grabber right now. Back into the corner again, sanding away at the arena. There's not going to be much left of that corner up here. I don't know if the seconds to go the fight. Now you can hear this the arena the 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 ball. Watch the ball the the corner. They just cannot turn around the Nigma. What is the It's going to go to the judges. Yeah, a real battle for the So it's so unfortunate for the Nigma. They did an amazing job. Into the round of 16. Yeah, absolutely. They fall over me, though. This just decision could still go either way, of course. Side the winners now, so I expect to hear massive cheers as we go into the start of the round of eight. In the red square, we have Enigma! <laughs> and waiting for the front fork protection to come off. In the blue zone. Boring bots. Woo! Look at the showboating. Oh, now we really are getting into the professional side oh, yeah. of things. Oh, yeah. This is the big leaks. Robot is stand by. Here's for a Three. spot in the semi final. Two. One. one. Big game. So two bots that rely very heavily on driver controls. We've seen it before, Boring Bot. They've been making their way through this arena, through this tournament, on their control. And Enigma, that last fight, keeping Gertrude under control. We're seeing that lifter come into play again from Enigma. Just trying to get in underneath Boring Bot, making a couple of lifts. 
Those front forks very low to the ground on Enigma. But Enigma being careful, it has to be careful not to get trapped on the pit on the side of the arena wall, sorry. That's a good grab though. That is a brilliant grapple there. They look to be a little stuck, but maybe not. And the pit has been dropped. They're both very close to the pit area. Enigma. Driving from Enigma, Enigma. To avoid that. Backing out of trouble and getting close for no reason. And they're now back on to Boring Bot. They're going to try and go back to their original tactic. Get them flipped, lift them up. That's a lovely lift. And is this a grapple? grapple? This is a grapple as well, but they're facing the wrong way. They need to turn around, which they're slowly trying to do. I think Boring Bot still has wheels on the floor because they're turning away from that. They and that was very there. quick. A right quick right turn around. Oh, and they're on the edge. Semi-final! Well, 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 let's watch that replay. So, as you can see, it was a very impressive battle. Now move over to the round of eight. Baby Shrek in the blue zone, sprawling in the red. One. Begin. Here we so go So the then. spinner is coming up, and sprawling isn't moving, and there we go! They're waiting for the spinner, they want that spinner to wind up. That's that, not an ideal position to be in for Sproing though, and they don't seem to be able to flip back. Oh, the carnage! The destruction, so that is Sproing heavily exposed now. I thought Baby Shrek was going to leave them, the countdown was going to begin, but no. They wanted the damage, and Baby Shrek back on its wheels, but look at the plastic everywhere. That's now sparked the Sproing. Still, Sproing is a very good pusher. So, well, it was. It was a pusher. <laughs> that is the front ring now gone. We are going to see shrapnel start to fly left, right, and centre. Baby Shrek can go to town now, as he is just he's doing so. firing shrapnel left, right. We're waiting for the pit to be enabled. I think Sproy might actually take themselves out, or they could get lucky. Baby Good Shrek. Replay. Watch the replay because that was a split second. Oh my word! But Sproy, can Sproy get repaired in time? Well, they're gonna have to. <laughs> have you got spares? There are some spares. <laughs> Look at the battlefield. Look at the carnage. Here this. we go. So we have the replay here. This is where. Three, two. Yeah. So two vertical spinners and Emboss being the aggressor, almost not wanting. Vertical Vert spinner, however, not spinning. They could just be a pusher in this battle. You can hear Emboss, but those floppy forks aren't really doing much to help them. I was going to say the challenge with these robots, both of the vertical spinners are quite far away from each other, so they can't actually make much damage. They're both very low, very static robots, and this is very good driving here from Vertex. Staying away from Emboss's vertical spinner, there's not much they can do. Their forks are just getting underneath Emboss all the time right now, pushing them all around the arena. And you can see Emboss has forks of its own, but now we're getting some damage. Now we're getting some carnage, and have they been immobilized? Not quite, they're still able to turn they self right in. And I think Emboss, Emboss might have missed the trick. They could have tried to knock Vertex out of the arena there, but they Most decided definitely. to wait. They wanted the referee to count them out, and it is a pushing match. Emboss on the correct side, Vertex at the danger point, edging backwards slightly, but not quite making the way to the pit. They're all getting ever closer. Vertex now, dodging around, dancing around, and this is a pushing battle because their weapons just cannot engage with each other. No, absolutely. Emboss's weapon is so far back on the robot, we really need to connect up that wedge. It's great for the horizontals, but on a vertical like Vertex here, they just cannot get the engagement they want. That's a bit better though. And now it's very close to knocking and them out, so... Good to be it. Will Emboss en just let the timer count out, or can Vertex self right themselves? They look a little more stuck this time. Yeah, this is it, I think. One. What we call two that is out. And Emboss is through to the round of four, the semi-finals. The finals, the grand semi-finals. The grand semi-finals of two. Right now, Ubi. Three. Three.
Population. Two. Oobly in the blue zone, Combobulator in the red. And Oobly swinging a miss there as it ran into the arena wall. And that has allowed the Combobulator to get on the back side of them, get their spinner in there. But now they are engaging with each other, spinner on spinner, and the sparks are flying. I don't think that it, the Combobulator's weapon works anymore. It hasn't done in a little while. Very true, I can actually realise, yeah, it's not spinning right now. So they are all on the driving offensive. They want to stay behind the Combobulator. Or Oobly, sorry, Oobly wants to stay right on to them like they're doing. I don't think the Combobulator has much of an offensive strategy here. All they can really achieve is the pit wall. But now they're getting pushed up against the side. And it's a vicious sound. You can hear the drum spinner. Yeah. And that is turned up. The Combobulator, they're struggling. Combobulator is upside down. Another big hit there from Oobly. You can see some forks laying in the arena. Those have both come off now of the Combobulator. And the Combobulator is unfortunately stopped. The lead came out. And that was that. Oobly is just vicious. It takes a moment to size up its opponent and then once it has, it goes in for attack after attack. They find that angle every time. In the red zone, Oobly. In the blue zone, Nitro. Let's count it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-twenty-four, thirty-twenty-five, thirty-twenty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty
the final battle. Two, one, activate! And that is going to go straight in, so it moves to go straight in, and now the grinding is happening. So the spinners are now fighting against each other. You can see Enfos incredible amounts of damage. The side panels are off. One of the forks is gone. And Uri now attacking the Enfos. And there goes that panel. But Uri has been flying up into the air. They've taken a bit of damage. And it's that their weapon. Their weapon looks to have stopped. Enfos now back to the So, although they have no defense, they don't need to. Oakley doesn't have a weapon, and now Enfos can go on the attack. Oakley is all about defense. What will happen if we go into this? Will we see Oakley knocked out of the arena? Enfos doing their very best to get under him. Incredible amounts of damage being done. Soaring away, soaring away! Well, the spinner's coming again, or it was very, very briefly. I don't know if that should be a measure of uh, Enfos hitting a bit of spinner. But the spinner must have been enabled. So the spinner of Enfos has been slowly down. It looks like they don't hit anymore. Enfos have stopped their weapon. They don't want to bounce out and have this on bad luck. So it is going to be a pushing match at the end of it. So it's Oopli versus Enfos oh. without the spinner. Thank you. 
down. Down over there, that's just the last place to go. Almost that's just getting overturned by Down over there, into the pit. Not quite, going out. That's just the way. It's very lovely the way that I did. The good and nice to drive it. So very close. And now I've got to grab you. Has a hold of the Dutch Speed Adjuster. They've said enough to the axe. They don't want to see any more damage from them. And then now all the way in the corner. All the way in the corner. So we have got a countdown beginning to come over. But the fight has come back to them. So the fight is only going up to the back again, very close to the pit, not falling in though, which is good news for them. Absolutely just up. They are just going to the town here. So Tanarone has been counted out, but he's three robots left in the city. I'm like the same flipper. Three, two, one, begin. Here we go then. The flipper misses its first flip, but gets the second one. And immediately stacking down against the wall, sporting my look cards. Whiteboard's all about the going. Yeah. Sportsmanship at its highest. I must say that, you know, with this many lifters and flippers, you'd expect a battle to blow ground. Oh, that is stuck. Oh, no, no, he's not playing in that game. No, Beast of Bogman is very stuck now. Uh, I don't think he's going to get down from there. Oh, no, I spoke too soon. He has indeed got down from there. Beast of Bogman was just riding, having a nice time. He was having a lovely time. Oh, the oh, whole really is gone. And I think he's stuck on it. <laughs> I think this fight is now all about trying to free that win. Yeah, uh, we have another upside down robot, we have one stuck in the corner. You know, things are happening, things are stuck. So far it's a big victory for that. Oh, Darren is free. Big flip, but to no Wooten. Shame. And this is what I love about Whiteboard, it's Sunday boys, we're going to get everybody back going into the crowd. We just want two minutes of robot fighting. Of course. Darren getting on the momentarily there and <laughs> suffering the wrath of the gas. <laughs> Sometimes you just hear yourself talk, don't you? All the time, Devon, all the time. I, I think we can say that Peter Bobbin is pretty definitively gone. Well, it's trying for the he's still not quite got it. He's still going. I don't think it's going to happen. Oh, that's a problem. Yeah, yeah. Who do you think will win this one to one in the next seven, eight seconds? Six, five, six, four, four, three, two, one. That'll do us. Can we have a live judge's decision? I mean, I can just give a decision from here and ignore the other judges. I don't know how the other judges feel about that. No, split decisions in the next whiteboard. I think it's fair to say we'll be doing it. So it's a whiteboard match, there comes Carnage. And Mr. Cat already trying to capture his first mouse. Split decision is actually turning itself into a spinner, no longer going for an axe approach, going up and oh, down. Oh, Cybertron is on his side, that's not a good position. And that spinner is there. Well, it's leaning. And here's that Mr. Cat. Mr. Cat managed to capture Cybertron, but not for long. And we're seeing their drum beat really causing a lot of damage. And now it's Mr. Mouse. The bowl has been destroyed. Yeah, that's not looking happy. But he will continue to meow meow as this fight goes on. Split decision. Uh, the knife is bent. Drum beat being put in the corner. And uh, the head is all over the shop. So Mr. Cat, they're trying to grapple Drumbeat. Drumbeat's saying no thank you. He's having its best life. This is truly destruction. There, there isn't really it's a winner from this. There is just pure joy and excitement. So Drumbeat very close to the pit. 
Are they going to get pushed in? Big decision, Big decision, decision then. Well, we kind of saw it coming. Into the pit, so Mr. There is, there is a new arena hazard that nine foot death. Um, out, out. And then there's still control there as it waggles yeah, back yeah. and forth. I think so, it's, a, it's a viable uh, threat in the arena, to be fair. So Mr. Cat doing everything it can to move John B into the pit. Get decision is out, Cybertron is out, only two left, and with 28 seconds left to go, it is looking very solidly in the favour of John B. And now Cybertron unfortunately getting into the fight here. They're long since counted out. I don't think there's much life in them anymore. Drum beat me, Mark. Oh, they're not. <laughs> Straight into Nine. the pit. They'll see themselves out. Seven. How polite of them just to get out of the way. He has to make it the ninth of death, though, so that's not And Mr. Cat able to grapple Six. Drum beat. So. A lovely fight. A lot of flying plastic. It's quite challenging to decide. Mr. Cat. Using that grapple so many times there, of course it is just a plastic bowl, it can't do much. Yeah. But that's it. Yeah. A lot of robots here for this fight. So Babel getting in there, getting into the fight. And that is a lot of spinning damage. Already It was literally just a carcass thrown into the arena. Uh, now it's the fire basket turns into damage to Fabro. What after carnage can they do as they start to join in on each other? Fabro over to the city. I didn't enjoy contradiction by and then another suplex, we love to see it cry about it though, not happy with the suplex. Trying to put some hurts down onto him. And that is Babrog upside down. Can they self fight? Yes, they can. But they're again straight under attack. Cry about it, taking a right back on the weapon has come out again. And that's all kinds of unbalanced now. So they're still able to spin it, or at least they were, but it's not running through. So that is going to be dangerous. Great oh, so uh, they stopped it. And as Fabron flying all over the arena, they're really struggling here. Very close. Fabron is just taking the contradiction here. And cry about it. Putting them into the corner now, up and against the side, trying to pin them. Trying to stop to the carnage. 30 seconds left of this battle. Fabron though, continuing to self right themselves, although they are pinned up against the side. Right about it, I've been thrown around the arena. Get it ever closer to the pit. Ever closer to the pit. Can they get it? They're not quite there. There we go. And I think that is the last box standing. Well done. Can you knock me down just so I can drive out? I just don't feel moving. You're not. Stand by. Three, two, one. Here you go, the three of the promises against the veteran in Sonata. And already wheels come off of Hercules, so the maneuverability of that robot's going to be hampered. Yeah, we saw it earlier on, but... Oh, no, it's quite a good job trying to get the grab back. And Sonata seems to be the right shape to grab. Meanwhile, over in the bar corner, the disorder is being pushed around by the control. And you have to say, under control, finally looking like they are in control of that robot. They were really, really controlling the direction of travel. Hercules struggling, Hercules struggling so much here, yeah, under control and disorder, doing everything they can. And now all four robots coming together in a big merger, and they've all separated again. The button has been hit, so we start to see Hercules pushing, pushing all they can for direction. It is away from the pit area. And under control, doing a great job pinning into the corner. Hercules wants a piece of the action. Making it some good grabs in with that grabber. That's doing very nice. Oh, there goes the uh, disorder down the pit. So one robot down, unfortunately, with disorder under control. Doing a brilliant job there. And is this is oh. Tsunami getting ever close. Under control on the wrong side. Hercules oh. into the pit. And now that leads to we have under control against disorder. 
and unfortunately for under control, their wheels are caught, and they are now here. What a veteran Bill Thomas. He's a bad, bad man. He didn't take any prisoners. As soon as the pit was down, he knew what his job was. And we'll watch the replay here so you can see. Red form. We have a little drum. We have two red points on the other. One. Did you? So Gertrude going straight in there for a kill. Didn't get in. They were up to speed, but they did best they can. Red four, though. They are up into the red flame. And now we're seeing Spark fly. They're starting to take on Gertrude. What a dangerous combination those two robots are together. Red Ford is um, one of the more physically uh, dangerous boats. They come in the past, still to the ground for the pit, holding their spinner, maybe you could not go in it. They always look like they're taking a ring up or good, but you might see the damage there to the wheels. And you can hear the play. Oh, and Gertrude there was swinging it on their floor. They are now just causing carnage in the arena. And the way up there. So desperately trying to get out of the pit zone before it drops, couldn't get away. Get oh. And they just take themselves out, so now we're left with Gertrude. Who was desperately trying to push the other robot into the pit? They look immobilized. Is this the end? The darkest hour? One more push and they're in. Is this all this? Is this so tense? Is this is so tense? It's, 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 it's like a two pitch sheet. Yes, it's a And straight away, Grapple going over the top of Darren there, and everyone's into the corner on Kamoran, trying to get him involved. Slamco getting attacked by Grapple. Grapple really going in for the, the slam attack, yeah. as opposed to grappling their opponent. Slamco, meanwhile, coming in underneath and lifting that metal ring off of Kamoran. So that is their disposable bodywork being maybe. disposed of. Cause some damage, maybe? And grapple all over the top of Darren once again. So they are struggling to get underneath. They're struggling to hold. And we're seeing Corora getting very close to the pit area. Darren going all over the shop, as is grapple. And now we're just waiting. Everyone moves. They shuffle away from the pit area. Darren gets never closer, but he's able to escape. And now we have Corora trying to push Darren, but not able to on the edge. So close. Slamco moving into the back of Darren, and now we have a tag team up as everyone piles into the corner. <laughs> Slamco coming in for another look at the ring of Cormoran <laughs> lifting it up, and everybody's in there now. Oh, Cormoran. Cormoran getting very close. We have heard that it doesn't actually fit into the pitch area, though. We'll see. Oh, so we'll see about that. Yeah. The big circular design has helped them. And Grappu now stuck under Slamco, so they're going to shuffle them towards the pit area. Kamora is just doing everything they can to get away, but struggling to move here. Slamco, I think the strongest level so far in this battle, though Grapple Turnover has had some good slams. And of course, Darren now, both of them pushing up against Kamora. Slamco's on the wrong end of the pit. They are getting slowly pushed in as Grapple rotates itself over, as you mentioned, that crocodile alligator. Oh, Slamco. And Slamco's in, again, the wrong side of the pit. Oh. Kamora getting very close to the pit, but they look a little stuck. That's two wheels in, so can someone nudge Kamora into the pit area? Someone, anyone, please nudge it in. Can we see if Kamora will indeed fit in the pit? That's what I want to see. If you talk nicely to David, you might try and uh, test it, but looking at the, the camera feed we have, it looks so close. Yeah. On a diagonal? Yeah, on a diagonal. I'm not sure what the rules say about that in terms of let's count it down together. Three, two, one, hit you. And three, 
you are so welcome. And, and thank you all for coming. Uh, we've still got a few matches, but thank you all for coming. It's been a great day. Get the damage. Talk us through the damage. Uh, so you ripped both my forks off. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> ripped that side panel off. Yeah. That one, I wasn't yeah. so really yeah. That one, one my battery is just there. So I carried on because I knew there was nothing left to put yet. But yeah, that thing hits hard. So yeah, once he was upside down, I, I, knew I had the ground game. So I, was like, I switched the spinner off. I didn't want to. Flipping back over because we've got the forks again, uh, and then we're pushing in the pit, so it's like, there's a lot of thinking going on during the fight. Was it a tactical decision to disable your own spin? Yeah, I, I powered it down when he was upside down because uh, he hit back over, and he got his forks on the floor, and he kept getting underneath me, and I was able to get another hit on him. So I was like, right, you, you stay over this time, and it's because I can push him around by a your weapon, your weapon oh, was disabled. The belt is gone. Yeah, he ate it and he's gone. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and we're on a suppose, but I'm glad to see you We saw it. <laughs> you said earlier on, if it really goes well, it would be a sign. Yeah, I think it's time for the first of all to attack a bit. See how it goes. I'm sure a lot of competitors are glad to hear that. Your efficiency in knocking people out earlier in the rounds was incredible. It's gone well, I said it's a bit more for the opponents. And you have to say, if that weapon wasn't disabled, Endboss was on the last legs. They only had one pound left, that's the same. Oh, it's got the door, isn't it? Anything could happen, and it's happened, I've won it. It's too cold out. That's, uh, that's it. Well, we have four rounds to do. Our second place robot for this event. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause. Oobly! But the winner of today, surviving but only just, End Boss! <laughs> Bristol Pop Builders, Pizza for All 2022 winner. Well done, thank you all so much for coming out, for watching, for watching on the stream. Thank you all to the Bristol Bot Builders. A few things left to be said. Can just we so just fun. have a massive big up for these two? That have been on it all day, definitely can. The biggest winner of the day, please, for these two. An additional humongous cheer for Dave. You have been incredible, thank you so much. And, 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 and the stream team. Stream, oh, the stream team. team. Stream team, thank you so much. Stephen, Rob. As I was saying, a massive thank you and congratulations for another stormy event to the BBB team. Joe, Craig, and Gareth. Well done, boys. Well done. Thank you very much, boys. This has been BBB. Brawl, We're back at some point later this year, hopefully. Until then, however, we do need to pack up and strip down. So please tidy up your tables, tear up everything that's around you, any amount of rubbish, even if there's a little bit of shrapnel on the ground, please pick it up, shove it in a bin. Bin bags are here, bin bags are here. But thank you for an amazing event. Safe journey home, and see you again in the future. Goodbye, everyone. Bye, stream. Bye bye.